kind of react when you found out about this latest storyline for Alicia? Um, basically, when Kate told me about the storyline, um, it was a real curveball for me. I was like really shocked by it. However, I could completely understand why she picked our family and why she thought we were the right family for to do this storyline with. You know, we do have Jacob, he's 12. It could be quite easy that he would befriend someone of a slightly older age. Um, Alicia, you know, the way that she is, she's so kind of um, bubbly and she dresses so out there. And So I completely understood her decision. However, I was quite nervous, as you would be, obviously. Um, but I was also, if I can use the word, I was excited as well in the sense that I knew we had a really good story to tell and I knew why our producer wanted to do this and when I went away and did my research I completely 100% was like absolutely we need to do this storyline it's you know it it really opened my eyes a lot so I definitely feel like um, as shocking as it was um, I felt like it was something I really wanted to do. Yeah. What's it I mean what's it been like filming some of the sort of dark creepy scenes I mean is this something you've sort of taken home with you do you feel quite affected by the storyline? Um, I'm incredibly lucky that I have a, a really supportive husband who from day one I have kind of you know discussed the storyline with him and when the script started coming through I was like oh read this you know what do you think about this and again when I was doing all my research um, I was looking at case studies and you know looking on um, the right crisis, cent crisis centre um, websites and various other ones Rain as well which is another one in, in America and uh, various other ones in Australia and everything just looking and saying oh my gosh look at this and I need to make sure I incorporate this and so when I was coming to do scenes actually filming them I would read them through with James the night before um, and he very much understood what I was about to do the following day so it was really lovely so that when I came home he was like so how was that so we just talk it out and then that was great and stuff but also I've got a two and a half year old son who was basically like mummy you have to be mummy now so you know I want you to sing the jungle book with me which is very good for me in terms of going shut that door and open this one that's Alicia this is Natalie our lives are so different so sort of tell us a little bit about the incident and how how is it going to sort of affect David and Alicia um, in the aftermath? There is a huge fallout from the assault and again obviously with David and Alicia and Jacob as well um, but also with Chrissy and Lachlan's family too you know there's massive repercussions um, when Matthew and I knew that we had this storyline coming up we knew that we had also a period of time where we could show David and Alicia at their most loved up and fun and happy and um, you know what the viewers spent two and a half years rooting for and finally we got it and then you know then we had the whole Priya drama so we finally had a time where we could say look this is kind of who they should be um, because we knew that we had this dark time coming. So it's been great for us to play the complete antithesis. So you've got one, you know, one day we might have been doing stuff where we were really excitable, chit chatty, argumentative, and then another day I was completely crying my eyes out in his arms and stuff. And it's it's the relationship is broken in a sense in terms of their intimacy, their love for each other is huge you know David's incredibly supportive Alicia loves her husband desperately she loves her family but in terms of intimacy and her being able to really open up to him they struggle with that a lot um, and again the same with Jacob that has huge re repercussions on Jacob as well he just wants his family life to be normal he's very brave as Jacob Alicia has to tell him w about the assault because of the line of questioning from the police she doesn't want people insinuating to Jacob that you know she's committed offences towards Lachlan um, which would be lies so she tells him and then he's very brave and goes to David and says you know what's happened and David has to again second what Alicia said so the fallout's massive and then obviously again with Chrissy you know she how do you deal with that when your son has committed such an offence at 14 years old you know so there's huge repercussions all around.